Hi there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to test for structural breaks in time series data in Stata. In order to do that, I'm going to start by creating an empty data set with a thousand observations, and I'm going to just use the set seed command here before I do that, so that if I want to redo this analysis and I type in set seed one, two, three, four at the beginning, what's going to happen is that I will replicate what I did the first time in terms of the random number draws. So don't be confused by this command. It's just a way of ensuring that even though I'm going to be drawing random numbers, I would draw the same random numbers next time if I reuse this code. So I just created a thousand empty observations and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a variable called try and I'm actually going to say this is the Turkish lira and what this variable represents is how how many Turkish lira the US dollar can buy okay and let's say that this is just a random process that I'm using here let's say that try is the sum of a random number between 2 and 4 and another random number between 0 and 1 in order to see what that looks like I'm going to just drop in this code here. I'm going to create a new variable called date and I'm going to set it equal to underscore n which means it's going to run from 1 to 1000 sequentially. I'm going to ts set it which tells Stata that that is time series, that's a time series variable and then I'm going to do a time series line, ts line of Turkish of the Turkish Lear which is try. Let's enter that command and you'll see here that this is kind of a random process just as I'd intended, you can't really see if there's a break in this data. Now what a break means is simply this. Imagine that somewhere on this line, uh, if you see where my mouse is here, imagine that the values were concentrated around here and then they went up over here or they went even lower over here. Uh, a break is basically it's just what it sounds like. It's there's some point in a process where it changes. So maybe the lira is going strong against the dollar, strong against the dollar, then it starts to get weak against the dollar. Uh, a break, uh, testing for a structural break, is just finding that pivotal point in the process that the dynamics of that relationship change. Now here we can't really see any kind of break, but I'm going to do something. I'm gonna actually, actually going to create an artificial break. Okay, And you know how I'm going to create it? I'm just going to add 0.5 to every variable of try from 501 to 1000. So basically what I'm doing, I'm creating an artificial break. I mean, not artificial, it's a real break, but I am imposing it on the data starting at observation 501. Okay? Because all of these are random and they're kind of within the same zone. So if I add 0.5 systematically to all of the second half of the data set, it is going to result in a break. And the way we can actually see that is just do that time series line again. And here, uh, it's kind of subtle, but you know, you, you, you can see it. You can see how all the way up to here, there is a certain um, range that this relationship is in. And then up over here, it changes and it's, it, it gets higher. And it won't always be this simple to identify visually because there'll be ups and downs, ups and downs. And it, 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 if you're dealing especially with, you know, hundreds of observations, it's not going to be a simple process to say, oh yeah, the break happens right over here. I'm doing this artificially so we can kind of back test it in Stata and you know see what happens with that so here's the first thing that I want to do I want to just go ahead and do a regression okay off uh, and, and I want to I want to do it so that my dependent variable is the Turkish Lira try and my independent variable is day oh and by the way here this is kind of bugging me with my perfectionism here this was a mistake by the way uh, this bracket that I imposed here so ignore this error message that should have been TS line try okay so let's do a regress command okay so we've done our regression. I'm not really concerned so much with the results over here. I did that just so that I can get to the estat sb single command in Stata, which finds a structural break, and we need to enter this command after a regression. So that's why I did that regression, and now I'm going to enter this command, and it's going to generate something for me. It's going to sh look look at this. I'm highlighting it. Estimated break date 501. Remember what we did up here? I added a 0.5 to every observation from 501 onwards. So that was artificially done. And I did that just to see would Stata using the estat sp single command, would it successfully identify that there was a break there? And by gosh, it did. It found the break right exactly where I put it. And it gives you the, the wall statistic and its p-value um, over here. And what I'm going to do to kind of highlight that 
I'm going to do that time series line again. And this time I'm going to put an X line at value 501 to show you where the break is. Because we were just told that the break comes at five in day 501, right? So watch what happens now. Uh, I've just created a line here so that when you look at it, you know, you can identify there's a before period and then there's an after period here. In the after period, the lira is weaker against the dollar because the dollar buys more lira. And in the before period, the lira is uh, relatively stronger against the dollar because the dollar buys less lira. Uh, so that's the that's the test, a uh, breakpoint test, a uh, structural break test in Stata. And you probably want to follow that up with um, a few things. It's not really pertinent to this a particular tutorial but you would want to do let's say a Markov switch model in order to look at the two probability states of uh, of these data and you know kind of do the one step ahead probabilities um, and also estimate sort of the means of the two different states right the Markov switch uh, M switch DR command in Stata is going to assume for example that there are two stages uh, in the data that we just created and it's going to tell us the mean of each stage and also the probabilities of each stage remaining within itself and each stage breaking out to the other stage so uh, stay tuned for that if, you, if you're interested uh, please do check out the Markov switch um, tutorial other than that yeah I, yeah I hope that the uh, identification of the structural break was was useful this is something that in a lot of time series analysis you're going to have to do and Stata, as usual, just makes it so simple. Just do your regression, make sure that you know you, you have a T, TS set variable, and type in ESTAT SB single, and you're done. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you, so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean, in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four, uh, following a perfect chapter three, and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.